Welcome to this new video. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can manage multiple JDK versions on your Linux machine using JEnv. For this example, I'm using a, a raw Ubuntu 18 machine with nothing installed. I will start with installing the first uh, JDK, which is JDK 8. I will use the official OpenJDK repository and install it. Next, I will also install um, OpenJDK 11, so we can then actually switch between different JDK versions quite easily. So let's also install 11. Um, while this installing, I will show you the tool I'll be using to easily switch between different Java versions. So it's called JEnv, it's uh, running on Linux and Mac OS. Um, the only thing you need is uh, Git to, to install it and for sure um, different JDK versions. So to now install it on Linux, um, just copy this clone command and execute it. This will clone this repository to your home directory in the .jn folder. Next, we have to add it to our shell. So I'm using bash with this example. Just copy the command provided here. In this example, I won't use the bash profile, but the bash rz. So this will put the jmf to the path and we can find the binary. We also need um, this in our bash rz file. This will in initialize jmf once, we, once the shell loads. So once you added this to your bash rz file, you can just source your bash rz file or create a new shell session. Once you did this, you should be now able to execute jenv. So this command is now available. And what we now have to do is we have to first add our different JDK versions to the jenv tool. So we have to tell jenv where he can find our JDK installations. So to add um, different JDK versions, um, you have to add them to this JEnv tool. You can do it to now add them. Just execute JEnv add and specify the path where you can find the version you installed. So here I will specify it first uh, Java 8. So if you installed it on Ubuntu with the package manager, it will be in this directory. If you download it manually, you have to look it up where it's stored. So if you execute this and it's successful, it will print out which version it added. So here it added um, um, the JDK 8 with different name aliases. So now we can also add our Java 11. This is also added and then we can execute JM versions. So this will now print out which versions are available. So here you see six different, but actually these are just two. It's Java 11 and Java 8. They just have different names, which all refer to the same inst installation. So to actually now use one, we can um, define the Java version either globally with JNF global and specify the version we want to use. So if I specify JNF global 11, um, JDK 11 will be globally used. What you can also do is like if you have, for example, a, let's say we have a JDK 8 project, then within this JDK 8 project, we maybe don't want to use Java 11, so, but, locally just JDK 8, so we can say JNF local 1.8. So this will now create a Java version file um, with the information which Java version is used in this project. So this is quite helpful. If you manage multiple projects with different JDK versions, you can create this, this hidden file. And once you enter the folder, JNF makes sure to actually use the specified version uh, for this repository.
Let's verify that the correct version is used here. So if we execute Java version, we should now see here OpenJDK 8. If we go one folder above where no version is specified, so it should use the global version. You should now see here it's using um, the version 11, which was defined globally. It's also important um, to set Java home correctly. So right out of the box, it's not setting the Java home environment variable, which some server and tools rely on. So to do this, we have to enable a plugin. And this plugin is called export. So this will then make sure that the, J, uh, that the Java home is uh, properly exported. There are also plugins available for Maven and Gradle so that these build tools can work with um, JNF. So just say JNF enable plugin Maven and the Maven plugin will be activated and for Gradle just execute Gradle. To now verify that Java Home is set, we can launch a new session and have a look if the Java Home variable is now set. This is wrong. And now you will see here that Java Home prints out the version 11. So if we now say JNF global 1.8, so we want to use Java 8 globally and now print out Java Home it will point to the version 8. The same is also true if we execute Java hyphen version. So with this setup, you can now easily switch um, between different um, Java versions. You can create this Java version file within the project folder. So JM will make sure to actually switch to the version you specified in there and can easily switch to also new JDK versions to, to try out different things have fun using it.